basically it's gonna be like a little sphere with a membrane around it and inside is gonna be a juice, uh, like raspberry juice for example. And it'll be a bit like an egg yolk, but then without the egg yolk and it'll have fruit inside. Now, these are great to bring to events or parties. They're just awesome. And when I usually make them, I make them of two different types. I make raspberry and mango and let people choose. And it's awesome when they put it in their mouth and it blows up and all the flavors just explode and it just surprise and excitement and it's great. Now, there is a way to make these alcoholic and I'll show that at the end of the video. And that would make it a bit like a cocktail or a little shooter and that's awesome. Now, I'm gonna show you today how to make the raspberry one. And you can basically substitute the juice of raspberry for mango juice or any other fruit juice or vegetable juice or even uh, a broth or a sauce if you wanna deliver it in that way. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Let's get straight into it. Let's get cooking. Okay, so to start off, you're gonna make a sodium alginate solution. For that, you're gonna take one liter of distilled water and place it into a blender. Now, you just wanna make sure it has no minerals. That's why you're using distilled water. And you're gonna add five grams of sodium alginate powder. I'll link that in the description. And you just wanna blend this in. Now, make sure you use a hand blender or blender. Do not try whisking this in because it won't work. Now, once it's sheared into the liquid, you just want to take it off like this, and it should look a milky white like this because it's full of little air bubbles. So what you're gonna to need to do now is just cover it up and leave it in the fridge for at least two hours, preferably a day, so that all the bubbles can just release and it becomes a transparent liquid. So now I'm gonna measure out six grams of calcium lactate. I'll also link that in the description. Now it's important to use a weighing scale with at least one decimal place so you have more precise measurements when you're doing this kind of thing because you need to know exactly what you're putting in. There we go, six grams. Now I'm gonna put 50 milliliters of water into this glass and then I'm gonna add the six grams of calcium lactate into it and you just wanna mix this in. You can use a spoon or a whisk, it doesn't have to be a hand blender, just make sure it's fully dissolved into the liquid and at the end check that there's no little lumps at the bottom of the glass. Okay, so put that to the side for later. Now, raspberries. I'm just gonna juice these with a cold press juicer. Now, you can use any kind of fruit for this. You can use also vegetables. You can even use sauces. Just go creative. But here, I'm gonna use 150 milliliters of raspberry juice. Now, I love this juicer because it's so efficient at uh, getting the liquid out of materials like this. Uh, it's also good with fibrous materials like kale and stuff, but with raspberry, it's pretty efficient at taking all the liquid out. Okay, so once that's done, you have your 150 milliliters of raspberry juice. Just take your 50 milliliters of calcium lactate mixture that I just made a second ago and just pour it in. And now you're gonna wanna whisk this in or use a hand blender just to make sure that it's fully incorporated. And once you've done that, I recommend you leave it for about an hour just to rest and fully incorporate a bit more. Okay. Now here I've got a silicon mat with semicircular spheres. Now you want to make sure they're semicircular and not square because square the corners would mess with your spherification. Like there might be leaks later. Now I'll link this specific mold in the description below so you can get the same size spheres as I'm using here, but you can use different molds. It doesn't have to be the same. So just pour it till it's full to the top and then you're going to want to place it in the freezer until they're rock solid. I'd say about two hours will probably do. Now you take a shallow basin and you just want to take your sodium alginate mixture that I made at the start of the video and pour it in. Now you can see it's super transparent and clear and has no lumps. Very important, the no lumps part. And then you just want to take your frozen sphere of raspberry gel and pop it in there. Now you're going to want to leave it in there for three minutes and keep agitating it and turning it over. You can do multiple at the same time, but I'm just going to show you how to do one here. And what's happening is as it melts, the calcium lactate is reacting with the sodium alginate and it's creating a thin membrane around your raspberry juice. And after three minutes, you just wanna take it out and just wash it in a water bath just so you get rid of the excess sodium alginate solution. And then you just wanna put it in a second water bath just to make sure you've got rid of all of it. And as you can see, it's a beautiful little sphere that looks a little bit like an egg yolk, but it's filled with raspberry juice. And when you put it in your mouth, it will just pop 
and all the juices will come out and you'll taste it and it's just an interesting amazing experience to do and something that's awesome to try and share with friends. Okay, so now you know how to make fruits fit. Now, the only thing is storing them. Now, I recommend you take a jar and fill it up with a liquid that has some flavor to it because the gel membranes, they're sort of permeable, so that means liquid goes in and out. Now, the liquid inside will not really go out much, but uh, whatever liquid is surrounding the sphere will permeate inside slowly. And you'll notice this because they'll puff up a little bit and become more bulgy over time. So I recommend you put them inside something that has some flavor. So if you put a jar and fill it up with 7up or Sprite, or say for example, for the raspberry spheres, you make a raspberry juice that you fill the jar with and then put your spheres inside, that will mean that it'll, it'll, it'll retain a lot of flavor and be more flavorful. Now if you were to put them inside water, they would dilute and you just have a half water ball, which wouldn't be very nice. Now on the same lines. If you want to make it alcoholic, you just take a jar and you fill it up with your preferred alcohol. I would recommend something like Malibu coconutty rum, which would um, complement the fruit juices very well. Or you could just use vodka or any other liquor of your choice. And you just fill it up, put your spheres inside, leave it for an hour or so, just so it transfers into the spheres. And then you've got alcoholic spheres. Now you'll be able to keep them inside your jars for several hours. I wouldn't recommend keeping them over 24 hours because they tend to just become very fragile and blow up. Uh, so I think that's all the information you need to know. Also, I'm going to leave links in the description below to all the products I use that you might not have in your kitchen. So if you want to make this, you'll have the possibility of finding everything you need. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. See you in the next one. Bye.